Dozens of great whites swimming so close to shore. One was hooked by a fisherman today on the San Clemente Pier. Tonight, tennis reporter Anthony Perot talked to the woman who took this picture about the risk that had beaches closed for another day. There are signs on the beach like this one letting people know they're seeing great whites out in the water. In fact, there was one caught on that pier this morning. Hey, well, I was on my morning walk and I noticed there was kind of a crowd at the end of the pier. And this was why a great white taking the bait. Julie Isola snapped a pic of the fisherman's surprise catch. I caught it at just the right moment when he was bringing it up and the, and the shark was facing. The fisherman cut it loose right away, alerted nearby lifeguards and paddle boarders. The lifeguard radioed the headquarters and they announced right there that the beach had, was closed. And it stayed that way. I've never seen this beach with no surfers, no swimmers. It's the latest in a series of great white sightings. On April 29th, a great white bit a woman on San Onofre State Beach, cutting her leg to the bone. The sand, the safer place to be, though many still hear the water's call. I don't think they're that close. <laughs> the kids still want to get in and play. It's almost summer and they're missing the beach. The beach for now belongs to the sharks. Several dozen spotted all the way to Capistrano Beach. Lifeguards expect to reopen this beach tomorrow with shark advisories, but if they spot another one, it will stay closed. Reporting in San Clemente, Anthony Pura, 10 News.